So tonight, y'all, we are going to be talking all about boundaries. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Present Day Baby. I just left a workout class at Pure Bar, and it was so good. Oh, my God. I just love that feeling after you work out, like that feeling of just like your endorphins are going crazy. Right now, I'm about to change, and I'm going to cook some probably spaghetti tonight. What's up, guys? So right now I'm about to make some spaghetti um, for dinner. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Today I went to my workout class, which is so good. And then I came home, did a little bit of editing, and now we're about to make spaghetti for the fam. So let's get into it. Hey Alexa, play Make Me Over by Brie Babineau. Shuffling Make Me Over and similar songs on Amazon Music. I didn't ask for this song. Hey Alexa, stop. Hey Alexa, play Make Me Over by Brie Babineau. Shuffling Make Me Over and similar songs on Amazon Music. Alexa, I'm about to fight you. I'm actually gonna fight Alexa. Only one night though. Only one night though. Only one night though. it's okay to have a bunch of hobbies but tennis was something that I was really interested in even though when we first got there on the court the sun was in my eyes people had actually came to like play the game 30 seconds after we had got there and we took the last court so they were like watching us and it was like I felt pressure okay but anyways I feel like when it comes to hobbies you're obviously not going to be the best at first, and that's okay. The Delulu in me would try to be Serena Williams in a year, and that's just not possible. Serena Williams has been, what, 30 years in the game? Probably even longer. So I say that to say, if you want to do a hobby, don't expect to be, like, the very best day one, day two, year one. Expect to learn. And that's what hobbies is all about, learning something new. Whatever that hobby is for you, let this be like a beautiful learning experience and don't try to be perfect at it the first tries, you know? So much time with my fam and my brother did beat me. <laughs> I guess I talked too much junk at first. See, that's the problem. Tomorrow, I'm going to church. After this, I'm just going to make me some really good ramen. I'm going to wash my hair tonight. This hair needs some good washing, so I'm going to do that tonight, and I'm going to flat iron it for tomorrow, 
this may take me all night <laughs> because while I'm eating, I'm probably going to watch a movie. So I might be up all night long, but either way. All right, let's go make some ramen. what's up guys hello so tonight well right now i am working on tonight's bible study if you guys didn't know i host a zoom bible study meeting every single month and it's gonna be about two years that i've been doing it like in like in a couple months it'll be two two years so that's good but yeah i'm just studying and preparing everything i'm trying to think of some like really good questions and stuff to ask because i love engaging with y'all and like hearing y'all's perspective um and you know we love we girlies we love talking about dating we love talking about stuff like that but i'm trying to have like a good variety of different questions that i can ask so yeah i'm just preparing all that i'm trying i don't know why i'm trying to show everything but tonight we are going to be talking about boundaries and pertaining to you know also to you know monitoring spirits boundaries with our friend, family, our friends, you know, just making sure that we prioritize ourselves and different things like that. So I'm excited tonight and I need to get dressed after this because it's already five o'clock and I'm still, I'm still studying and everything. But yeah, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to get dressed. Hey y'all. Hey, so I'm currently getting ready for Bible study right now and um, just trying to do my hair. This week, I haven't been feeling my best. The girls who get it, get it. Um, I don't want to have to say it out loud right now, but um, yeah. I'm about to do a really rushed job of my makeup real quick. Um, but if you guys don't know, like I was saying, I have a Bible study that I do once a month. And so I'm super excited. Tonight, we're going to be talking all about boundaries how to set boundaries, how to create boundaries, what boundaries look like, why we should even have boundaries. Um, so I'm really, really excited. And hopefully I can get a little clip. I really like to keep like the environment very safe, very private, you know. That's why I only allow people to come in through invite um, by messaging me on Instagram. So if you're someone who, you know, you're interested in joining a uh, faith-based girl community come on over to elevate young women all you have to do is dm me at elevate young women asking for the zoom link and i will send it right over and the reason why i do it that way and the reason why you know i didn't even broadcast it for like a year is because i really wanted to make sure that the space was safe and that everyone felt comfortable um obviously now you know we have reoccurring re recurring 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 girls who come every month and stuff so we're a lot more comfortable with one another but i know that i also have new people as well but you know maybe tonight i'll get them to say a little hello to y'all um yeah let me do my face while i'm talking real quick i'm not even gonna do my eyebrows i'm just gonna do a little face you know a little base and then my hair i just i'm wearing this headband and then i just put on some like big earrings to really give it more of a, a look you know more of a look so i'm gonna definitely i'm gonna definitely bring you guys into more of the conversation tonight i'm just about to throw these lashes on throw these lashes on 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 mm -hmm. also tomorrow i'm traveling um to my hometown because uh, we are having like a birthday event for a family member that is an elder. Um, so we are all coming together to celebrate him. It's his birthday today. So that's exciting. And I get to see like some of my close family that I haven't seen in like a long time. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, 
this is what it's giving coming since like day one right we definitely have those people that's been coming in since day one they're on the call tonight too and then we have people that like you you know sprinkle in here and there and then you know once you like sprinkle in you're like mm, i like this i'm like i'm gonna keep coming to this so definitely we're so glad to have you on and so finally in march of last year i was like okay i want to do this bible study lord like let me obey you let me listen and so here we are like almost two years later we've been doing this bible study so yeah i just want to give you a little i don't know backstory so you can Thank know you. That's excellent <laughs> yeah so how how has your month been so far yeah we have like different age ranges like i think the youngest we have she's in high school so i'm thinking mm -hmm. she's like 17 maybe mm -hmm. so she's like our youngest and then i think we do have people I, we have definitely people that's a little bit older than me so we have people like close to 30 as well so we have a good range so that's nice. that's awesome <laughs> so tonight y'all we are going to be talking all about boundaries Oh God, my niece is coming into the room. I don't know if y'all heard her. So tonight, y'all, we are going to be talking about boundaries, which is like something that God has really placed on my heart for these past couple of months. Um, boundaries and not just any kind of boundaries, but like personal boundaries, right? The things that we will and will not allow, things that we'll accept from other people, things that we just will absolutely not accept from other people. And we know boundaries can carry us into different arenas, different aspects of our life, whether it's our job, whether it's our home, our friends, our relationships, whatever the case may be. We know that having boundaries is super important. So, but before we get into that, so we're going to just like go over some questions and like hear different perspectives because that's the whole point of Elevating a Woman and coming together is that we get to hear the different perspectives, what you think about this, what you think about that. So it's going to be super interesting. So yeah, so let's get into some Christian girl talk, y'all. Let's answer some of these questions. And sometimes I do have scenarios, but tonight we're having questions. So the first question that I have for you ladies tonight, and I'm so excited to hear what you guys think, is how should Christians date in this modern age? And not only that, do you agree with dating apps? Mm -hmm. Juicy question. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Because we know, God, that in due time, God, that you will make us rulers over much. So, God, we pray that over someone's situation right now, that what seems so small, what seems like a little bit, what seems like not enough, God says that I am the God that provides and I will make it more than enough. That if you are faithful to me now, that I know that you'll be faithful to me when the time comes. So rejoice. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody needs to rejoice that God sees you. He sees you in this time where if feels like you don't have enough he's saying because you're so faithful i'm gonna bless you i'm gonna bless you you become a ruler over much because you're so faithful over the small that i know that you'll be faithful in the much so we thank you right now god that you are opening up doors god you are opening up doors, Lord Jesus, God. And we thank you, God, that you see our faithfulness, oh God. And faithfulness does not go, Lord Jesus, God, without reward. So we thank you for reward right now in the name of Jesus. God is rewarding us for our faithfulness. And it's not because we performed so well or we did so great or we were perfect. But just because we stayed at his feet. He is coming with reward and we thank you for it now, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are a God that blesses us. We thank you, oh God, that you are a God that provides for us. We thank you right now, Lord Jesus, that you are a God that takes good care of us. Not because we're so perfect, not because we get everything right, but simply because you love us. We say thank you for the love of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for your love. And we pray all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, can we? Hi, YouTube. Hey. Hi, YouTube. Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. These, are my, these are my girls. We just got out of a prayer session, so we're a little like, ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, so I just wanted y'all to say hey to the vlog. 